Hi, my name is Donata Katai. I'm 15 years old. I go to Gateway High School and I train at Shark Swimming Club. So I broke Kirsty Coventry's record, her 15 and under record, I think. Yeah, uh, it was a, her time was a 105.60, no, 105.64, and I think I swam like a 105.60, which was pretty cool because I didn't even, I wasn't trying to get the record, I was just trying to win the race. And it was like, it was really nice because it came after like months and months of difficult training. So it was like a, the cherry on top of everything. Like after my, after my like swimming at Sharks, I, then when my brother left, I kind of did like a little break because like everyone else was so much faster than me and I didn't have any friends because I just played with my brother at swimming. So, and then I, f I found a new coach, his name was Simon Mapanda. He kind of fixed up my strokes and like the first record, Zim record I ever broke was me training with him every single Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, morning sessions with him. So yeah, he kind of set that building block. Then I came to, sh when I transferred to Gateway, I kind of really became serious about sharks. So I trained like every afternoon with Debbie Wetzler. And then until I finally progressed into like Mrs. Lobb's group where the real work started. <laughs> the way, yeah, I started really training hard until like, I think I joined in like form one. So Mrs. Lobb's been with me since. I first noticed that Danata was talented when she was at the pool at home playing around with her brother. At that time, he was a very good orchestra. And I was with my stepdad and his wife. And my stepdad said, This child is talented. We should take it further because she has the perfect stroke. She breathes well, and nobody's really taught her. So from there, we took her to a trainer who helps uh, kids uh, grasp the concept of swimming or the art of swimming if you like. And from there, she started club swimming for sharks at the age of about six. She was swimming against eight-year-olds and she was coming first. She was doing very well and she missed a few Kirsty records at that age. Well, she says her motto is go hard or go home. You know, she believes in what she's doing. She believes she's capable of what she's She believes that she wants to be better than Kirsty Coffin and she believes in training hard to get results and she believes in the people around her that inspire her um, she says she's going to do something she will do her best to do and to finish it and to complete it and to make sure it's done to the best of her ability she's that kind of job you know it's like when you get to a point where you realize that this is this is a gift from god it can't be anything else it has to be god because when you see her in the pool and what she's capable of doing Funny enough, especially when she says I'm tired or I'm sore or my body's sore, that's when she performs the best. Um, and her, of course her dream is to go to the Olympics and having the name Percy Coventry associated with her is just like a boost in what she aims on doing in the future. Okay, Donata Katai is um, one of the most promising um, young swimmers to come out of Zimbabwe at the moment. Um, she has always been a force to be reckoned with as she's come up through the age groups uh, but the last few years she's actually making her, made her mark in the South African Junior Championships. Um, the first year she went down she won a gold medal in the 50 butterfly and then la uh, last year she moved over to the backstroke and she won a gold medal in the backstroke and a bronze in the butterfly and then this year in March she went down and she took the 100 backstroke and the 200 backstroke and the 100 backstroke time was um, obviously the one that broke Kirsty Coventry's record and Kirsty had set that in Kuala Lumpur at the Commonwealth Games and Donata took a, a fair chunk off that time. So if you look at it in comparison to Kirsty then we're on, on track at this stage. Um, she's training very hard because she has qualified for the World Junior Champs and for the African Junior Championships. The World Junior Champs is in Budapest in August and the African Champs are in Tunisia in September. Um, she's obviously training through winter which is not an easy thing. It, it's a tough, tough thing but she is in the gym um, at, in Mount Pleasant with Kiros Sports yeah. and, and that is 
We're trying to strengthen her up out of the pool as well as doing the swimming. She works very, very hard and she understands where she's going and what she's doing. And she um, understands what the training sessions are about and she knows what she's got to do. Um, she's also managing to keep it together with um, her schoolwork. Um, she's doing very well in school and um, swimming and school, they're complementing each other right now. And so if we can really give Donata the opportunity to, to go further, um, she's certainly not going to let us down. I've, I've got a lot, I've had a lot of swimming. I've been in swimming for a very long time, yeah. as you're aware. Yeah. And um, yeah, Donata's an exciting prospect. I think every coach, um, I've had people go to world champs and things before. Um, so this is not, not new, yeah. but every coach hopes for that one swimmer to come through. And you know, Charlie Matheson got Kirsty to it, uh, along with the American American um, coach. And um, so, yeah, we we can we're hoping. <laughs>